A county commission candidate has been arrested and charged with seven counts of absentee ballot fraud. Local third graders will get special classes this fall in natural science, and Alabama residents will get first dibs on campsites in state parks. The heat is on across East Alabama. High heat index values, heat advisories. We're going to talk about the heat and how long it's going to last coming up. Coming up in sports, the Chocolaca Monsters are gearing up for a championship series. Football jamborees are about to start in volleyball fall ball registration. We have more on all of these stories in just a minute as EAN Local News starts now. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Hello, we're glad you could join us. I'm Katie Edwards. And I'm Mike Stedham. Terry Andrew Heflin, the Democratic candidate for District 5 of the Clay County Commission, has been arrested on seven felony counts of fraud. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall announced today that Heflin has been accused of the unlawful use of absentee ballots. Specifically, the indictment alleges that Heflin falsified absentee applications for multiple people and then used those names to vote for himself. Each count is a Class C felony punishable by one to ten years in prison. Marshall said Heflin turned himself in to the Clay County Sheriff's Office and is currently being held at the Clay County Jail. The case is being handled by the Attorney General's Special Prosecutions Division. A section of one of Aniston's busiest roads will be closed Friday while the city's Waterworks and Sewer Board repairs a water leak. City officials say East 10th Street, near its intersection with Isabel Avenue, will be closed from 7 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. During that time, the traffic will be rerouted to Montgomery Avenue and Jefferson Avenue. A new program will make nature study classes available to all third grade students in Talladega County. The Anniston Museum of Natural History will use its resources, including its collection of wild animals, to offer programs that are designed to enhance STEM learning opportunities. It's being offered free to all schools in Talladega County through the sponsorship of First Bank of Alabama. School officials interested in signing up for the programs are asked to contact Anniston Museums and Gardens Education Director, Amy Gray. When we come back, a new rule should make it easier for Alabama residents to reserve campsites at popular state parks. For metal buildings in Alabama and the southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Starting Thursday, Alabama residents will get a one-month head start when making reservations at state parks. The Alabama Residents Advanced Reservation Window will allow them to make online reservations 13 months in advance. Chris Blankenship, the Commissioner of the State's Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, says the extra month can make a big difference for popular sites such as the Chiha State Park, where campsites during peak fall foliage season have sold out in a matter of hours a year in advance. Reservations can be made online through the Plan Your Adventure online portal at alapark.com. When users access the system, those with an Alabama zip code will be allowed to make reservations 13 months in advance, and the users from out-of-state zip codes will continue to be allowed to make reservations 12 months in advance. The new system will be available for campsites at all 21 of Alabama's state parks. When we return, local police have planned a safety night. Spring into freshness at WM. Celebrate the season with our bountiful selection of farm fresh produce. From juicy berries to crisp greens, taste the flavors of spring at WM. Visit us today and let the freshness bloom in every bite.
This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Oxford Lumber. Come visit any of our locations in Oxford, Jacksonville, Talladega, and Roanoke. First responders from agencies across Etowah County will visit with the public next week at a community safety night in Gadsden. The Sheriff's Office says the event will take place Tuesday evening from 5 until 8 at the venue on George Wallace Drive. Residents are invited to meet their local first responders, take part in interactive programs, and learn about the ways first responders keep their communities safe. Admission to Community Safety Night is free. Well, the heat is definitely on. Wow, isn't it though? It was a great day if you had a pool. Yes, a good idea for a pool or just some nice, cool, shady place to go. Yeah, or air conditioned. There's or that too. Even better. <laughs> John Holder is joining us now in the EAN Weather Center to tell us if we're going to have to keep the temperature cool inside or if maybe we'll get a break from the heat. John? Mike and Katie, I'm afraid I have bad news. There is nearly no end in sight to the intense heat coming, especially over the next two or three days. We'll have the complete forecast for all of East Alabama next. For over 60 years, Oxford Lumber has been servicing our area and our customer service has always been our main focus. Our customer service is what sets us apart from anyone else. From the moment you enter, our highly trained staff will treat you like family. To enthusiastically provide total customer satisfaction within a positive and self-fulfilling employee relations environment. Visit us at any of our four locations or at OxfordLumber.com. If you want to show folks what a classic summer day looks like in East Alabama, this is it. Our very own Nathan Gober was out today at Bald Rock on top of Mount Cheeha. And look at that great view looking back toward Coldwater Mountain in the Anniston Oxford area. This is what it looks like. It's hazy. There's a lot of sunshine, but a lot of those big white puffy clouds. We got a couple of pictures from out there. You'll see another one coming up here that kind of shows all the haze there that we typically associate with the dog days of July and August here in East Alabama. A beautiful day, but it was hot out there today, even on top of Mount Cheeha. How hot was it today? How about 94 for the high today? Heat index values way above 100. 72 for the low this morning. The record high temperature, 100 degrees. The record low, only 60. The sun setting tonight at 744. And the sun rising on your Thursday morning at 556 a.m. It's time for weather on your street for a Wednesday night. Curry Station Road down in the city of Munford in Talladega County. Very warm and muggy tonight. Only about a 30% chance of a rogue shower out there. 75 for the low. Keep in mind that's early tomorrow morning. We'll be in the 80s for most of the night tonight here in East Alabama. Coming up tomorrow, if you live on Ivanhoe Lane in Rainbow City, the heat advisory is still going to be in effect including all day tomorrow, 95 for the high heat index values, way above 100 degrees coming up again tomorrow in Rainbow City and all across East Alabama. Looking ahead to the start of the weekend, as we look at Friday and so forth, high heat index values continue. High temperatures continue to be in the 90s, probably another heat advisory coming on Friday. West Avenue in Jacksonville is going to feel like being out west with the heat and the humidity that we're going to have coming for Friday and lasting into the weekend. Here's the seven day forecast for all of East Alabama. Small rain chances for the next couple of days. Only about a one in five chance in your backyard tomorrow, about a one in three chance on Friday. Both days highs around 95 degrees. Heat index values way above that. Maybe a little bit of a break for the weekend. Instead of mid 90s and a 20 or 30 percent chance of a shower, maybe 40 to 50 percent rain chances Saturday and Sunday afternoons and highs backing off from the mid 90s to the lower 90s. Classic August weather coming up as we will be into our first weekend in August all across East Alabama. And we're going to continue with small afternoon showers popping up every day next week with highs in the low 90s, nighttime lows mainly in the low 70s. Well, we're under a heat advisory that took effect at 10 o'clock this morning. It is lasting now all the way through 9 o'clock tomorrow night. That includes even in the overnight hours. Look at this. Heat index values up to 109 degrees for all of the advisory area. That includes every bit of us here in East Alabama. That includes 
all the surrounding areas as well. Anywhere you go in the southeast, there's some kind of a heat advisory or something like that going on. Again, this is what it feels like when you combine the heat and humidity. What it feels like on your skin could be as much as 109 tomorrow afternoon. Probably most locations around 105 to 107 at least coming up on your Thursday afternoon. And keep in mind, it's not going to cool off very much at nighttime either. That's why the heat advisory is in effect all the way through 9 o'clock on Thursday. I'll be back here tomorrow morning, bright and early at 6 a.m. for your Thursday weather at a glance. And I'll be back here tomorrow night for EAN Local News as we detail the weekend forecast for all of East Alabama. Coming up next in sports, Namath Pitt is going to talk about the winning Chakawaka Monsters. Namath. Thanks, John. The Chakawaka Monsters are back in action tonight as they look to bring home a championship. The Chakawaka Monsters are in the championship series of the Sun Belt League and they open the series up at home tonight. The Chakawaka Monsters will play against the Atlanta Crackers in the Sun Belt League championship series. Game one is tonight at Chakawaka Park with first pitch at 7.05 p.m. Game two will be this Friday in Atlanta, and an if needed game three would be Saturday at Chakalaka Park. The Chakalaka Monsters unfortunately will be without one of their best pitchers. Former Alexandria pitcher Andrew Allen will miss the championship series due to college orientation at Arkansas State. Good luck to the Chakalaka Monsters in the championship series. Football season is almost here, which means it is time for youth football. Northeast Alabama Youth Athletics is hosting Jamboree games on two different weekends. Let's take a look at the games that are being played on August 10th. Northeast Alabama Youth Athletics will host a jamboree on August 10th at Montford. There will be, there will be 12 games that will be played starting at 9 a.m. Oxford sophomores will go head to head with Montford sophomores. At 9.30, Oxford juniors will go head to head with Montford juniors. And at 10 a.m., Oxford and Montford seniors will go head to head. At 10.45, Lincoln and White Plains sophomores will play. At 11.15 a.m., Lincoln and White Plains juniors will play. And at 11.45 a.m., Lincoln and White Plains seniors will play. The games will be two 10-minute quarters with running clock and one timeout with an extended water break in between. Officials will also have the ability to call heat timeouts. There will not be 10-minute half times, so the cheerleaders will be in between games. At 12.30 p.m., Jacksonville and Sac sophomores will hit the field. At 1 p.m., Jacksonville and Sac juniors will play. At 1.30, Jacksonville and Sac seniors will play. At 2.15 p.m., Alexandria and Welburn sophomores will go head-to-head. -head. At 2.45 p.m., Alexandria and Welburn juniors will go head-to-head. -head. And at 3.15 p.m., Alexandria and Welburn seniors will go head-to-head. -head. Champion Sports Academy in Alexandria has opened up registration for their Fall Volleyball League. Registration is open for Champion Sports Academy Fall Volleyball League. This is for any lady in grades 4th through 8th grade. It is a six-week league with games on Wednesdays. The league will begin on August 21st, and you can register at the Champions website, which is www.championsplayhere.com. That's it for EA and Local Sports. Let's go back over to Mike and Katie. Thanks for the update, Namath, and thank you for watching today. You can find us every weeknight on Facebook and YouTube and on... Just go to the platform of your choice and watch our news, sports, and weather coverage whenever it's convenient for you. We'll see you back here Thursday for your news on your schedule.